to another lesson. In today's lesson, we're going to be learning about how to add multiple screens in our Apple Watch app. And to demonstrate this, we're going to actually just pick up with where we left off in our previous lesson about inputting text. We are going to delete this label here, and we are also going to change this text on this button to screen one. And what I want you to do is add two more buttons on here right below this first one and respectively make it screen two and screen three. What we're going to now do is go back to our Swift controller and we are going to delete this outlet as we don't need it anymore. Let's delete the code inside of this action. And let's copy and paste this action two more times for the two new buttons we added. Make sure we rename it so they're not redundant. And what we're going to do is go back to our storyboard and see how to add a screen. So you can see that we actually have these three other things here. And these are actually the way that Apple lets you design what a notification looks like when you get it on your watch. But this is the actual only screen we have. This arrow on the left of it signifies that this is the first screen that our app opens up to. So what I want you to do is hit this button right here and search for interface controller. And we can drag on, let's drag on three of these guys. One, two, and three. So an interface controller, in essence, is synonymous to a screen. One screen accounts to one interface controller. And what we're going to do is let's add a label to each of these and put some different text in it so we know that they're different. So let's make this first label, let's say first, and let's add one here, and let's also add one here. Let's make this one say second and this one say third and basically we can just tell our first controller once you hit this button to show either of these rather any of these three screens and the way we identify a screen is with an identifier so we can select this one and on the right here we can actually specify that it has an identifier in this menu so let's call this one first Let's select this guy and call this one second. And let's select the last one and call this one third. So let's head back to our code now. And what we can actually simply do in each of these actions that we hooked up to the buttons are we can do self dot push and we can just give it a name of what screen to push and context is if we want to pass in some data when we push it. So the first one that we want to push is this first screen. This one will be second and this one will be third. So let's change this to second. Let's change this to third. And that about does it in terms of presenting screens. So we can go ahead and hit run in Xcode and it will run our application and we can cycle through each of those buttons and hopefully get our three screens. So while that's loading up, Quick recap, we have our three actions here, no outlets. These three strings of first, second, and third are the identifiers we gave in the storyboard in here. And now it appears our app is loading up. So if we give this a few more seconds, we will see our initial screen, which has these three buttons. And we'll be able to tap them and hopefully see different screens. And here it comes. Cool. So if we hit our first one, we get the first screen. If we hit our second one. Well, it appears that nothing happens on our second and third button. So maybe we forgot to actually connect the action. Aha, which we did. So let's hook this up to this one. And let's hook this up to this one. Let's stop our app and run it again. And what I want you guys to also take away from this lesson and this course is it's okay to make these little uh, kind of mental hiccups and forget to do some of these things as long as you're able to recognize what you forgot and go back and, you know, make that correction. 
So now, if we select any of these three buttons, we get our screen pushed, and those labels are actually coming from here. And this should give you a pretty decent idea of how to connect different screens, and each of these screens are completely independent. So we can add an image on here, or a table as we saw in an earlier uh, lesson, or we can add a text input, so on and so forth. So that about does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, your feedback is very important to me. And I will see you guys in the next lesson.